probably see it better from right there. See that there's a crack right there. Oh yeah. Got to hit the wall or hit something. I remember the crack that, and I had that. So I just changed it, and put another one in. But uh, then I remembered I had this. And I remember when that happened, I had already ordered the, a new part to put on it. So oh. I got that. So Perfect. That's been around for. 30 or 40 years, whatever. It's a 440 Chrysler, but usually the guys bring it with all the soft plugs and oil plugs, and we strip it clean, put it in here, bakes and blast it clean, and, and then it goes to, gets prepped by threading all the holes, chasing them up, and uh, clean it up a little bit more, and then put it in the bore machine and hone it bigger. Once it's polished, basically scrub the oil holes out again and bag it up. So when you say bag it up, is ultimately he's going to have that engine block, he'll have the crank, he'll come pick it up, and then he'll actually... He'll assemble it assemble. himself. This, this is very organized. Very organized. Everybody keeps asking me, when are you going to put that thing together? I says, when I got every piece, All laid then I'll start putting it want. together. Right. Until then, we don't put nothing together. So is the block back, Sam? Yep. I'll get that over here. Last time we saw this was at Napa. Okay, yes. I knew you were debating yeah. it at the last time. I was debating it, and I kept thinking it was 20. I just checked it. Now yeah. the new stuff is 30. 30. So it's a little bigger yet. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many, yeah. how many more years I'll be doing this. <laughs> Who knows? You never know. Let's put the crankshaft, which is this right here. We're going to put all our bearings in the block, and here's all our new bearings. Yeah. Okay. Main bearings and rod bearings. Okay. Yeah. We'll be putting them in this block. I should have probably set up different for you. Then we're all going to go into the block here. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to set the crankshaft in here. Okay. okay. Show us the crank. Yeah, the crankshaft will go right in here. Okay. All these will be torque tightened, our main bearings. At that point, I'm going to flip it over. Start putting the pistons. Okay. Now, you have to get different pistons. Yeah, when you bore it 30 over, you're going to get different pistons. Now, here's all the rings. I'll be putting them on the pistons mm -hmm. first. Okay. Then the pistons will be put into the block. Okay. I didn't find any problem with the block when they went through it. Everything it's worked perfect. out just as they wanted. It's it's perfect. Yeah, perfect block. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you should have seen this when I sent it up there. Yeah. It looked like it'd been in the bottom of the lake. I mean, it, it was all right. rusted, and that's how nice they cleaned it up. But the pistons will be going in this in these holes here. Okay. okay. All right. Then from there, I'll be putting in the camshaft. Which is this. Right. This okay. is where you just got that, right? Yeah. That just came in. That'll be going in through here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And after that, I'll be putting on my timing gears and timing chain. Which is right here. Okay. Then, I'm going to put my valve lifters into the holes here. Into these holes. Okay. Okay. Then I can start putting the top together. I can put my heads on, okay. which are here and ready. Okay. Okay. And I can get my push rods in, which is here, and the rocker arms. Okay. Then I got to put the timing cover on this, which I didn't. The water pump cover, I should say, which I didn't bring up here. That'll go on here next. Mm -hmm. And then the timing cover will go on. The timing cover's got to go on first. The chain and the cover will go on first. Right. And then um, my water pump, how is he no problem? Then the vibration damper, the crank pulley, mm -hmm. it's a vibration damper. Okay. Uh, Sam, where did you get the heads? It's the heads that were on this engine. Well, what are they the same ones? Right. I just had them done. Put the, um, I got springs and the uh, retainers and special keepers on here to go with the pan. They're a little heavier stuff. 
Uh, at that point, I'd flip it over and, and, um, and put the oil pan on. Mm -hmm. Which is right, I gotta put this uh, pickup, it's gotta be for the, uh, for the oil pump, okay? That screws into there. Then the oil pan will go on. This is a windage tray that they use on the, a lot of the performance engines to keep the oil from whipping up the rods, whipping the oil. Um, then the oil pan will go on. At that point, we're pretty much assembled um, until I get it off of the rack, and then I'll put the, the flywheel on. Mm -hmm which is here, I'll show you that. I'll be putting the flywheel in, and the clutch, and the bell housing. Okay. At that point, when I put my engines in my race car, I have the transmission and the engine all in one assembly, and I put it all in there, down in there at once. Right. So at that point, I'll be putting this on, the transmission and slipping it into the front. It shouldn't be any more in a couple of days. They'll okay, be stuck with it every day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then a lot of times you like to work at night too. I like to work so it's quiet yeah. and, and clean, you know. So, at, yeah. at what point, uh, you test it. What point do you kind of know that uh, things are all, uh, and how do you test it? How do I test it? Well, you put it in the car and see if it runs. Really, is, is that the early first time you really sort of? Yeah. 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 I'm going to try to have it, um, all ready to start when I put it in. Right. Uh, I'm going to have the intake manifold, the carburetor on, all the plug wires and the plugs, so it so it doesn't take too long to get it fired up. Yeah. But it's, there's no reason why it shouldn't run, and it should be fine. So it's got to come back up. I want to get it up here where I can get these boys here. Yeah. Yeah. The technicians here good at this stuff, and they can help me. So um, I don't want to get too far behind. I don't want to be the one holding the thing up. <laughs> I think they're all feeling the same way. Is that right? <laughs> There's a sense of panic. <laughs> I told, I even told John, you know, if, we, if I could take the car here and put the engine and bring it back to him, but he doesn't want to do that, and I can understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Was this where you That's kind of hoped it'd be? Was, was getting all this together? Did, was there any difficulties in, uh, in, in getting any of the parts? Not um, the, this technology little thing here. They go to shifting arms. Right. I had a problem with, believe it or not. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to get the right ones to go with this car and with this linkage. Mm -hmm. um, now I did find a company or somebody recommended a company to me that's got everything and knows everything about that stuff. One call and they sent me all the right stuff and it all fits. Yeah, well, I'm looking around with it a couple of days, you know, trying to figure out I had the wrong bracket down, I had the wrong arms over here. Now it goes right together. So we're gaining big time. Well, this is exciting. Now I just got to start assembling. Yeah. yeah. A little later on when I get a little more. Oh, going. absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll keep this going because people, I'm telling you, they're interested. We run down on your feature event, 25 laps. Next off the pole, car number 27L, Sammy Lamancuso of Jamestown, New York.